Group B strep is a bug <coughs> that lives with you quite normally. It lives in your intestines, can live in your nose, your throat, your skin, uh, and in women it can live in the vagina and the, in the rectum. And it doesn't cause any harm, sort of we get on together. Um, however, um, it can cause a problem uh, uh, at delivery of a baby. Now, um, about 25% of mums carry the bug in their vagina and that's causing them no problem. And of course the baby comes out through the birth canal, the vagina, into the exterior world. And some babies, uh, you know, they pick up the bug, doesn't do them any harm. But for some, that bug can be devastating. Uh, the, the sort of effects that um, can occur in a baby infected by the mum's own bacteria they were living healthily inside her birth canal uh, can cause the baby uh, to have blood poisoning, pneumonia, meningitis, brain damage, loss of vision, loss of hearing, absolutely horrendous um, uh, end uh, consequences of being exposed to, to this bug. Approximately about 70 babies die a year as a result of group B strep infection. I mean, that's disgraceful. When there is a test available for this condition, a test that can be done on these mums to see if they're carrying group B strep in their vagina or in the rectum. There's a very specific test called the ECM test, which stands for Enriched Culture Medium. And this will detect 85 to 95% of cases, women who are carrying the bug and therefore their baby is at risk of being exposed to this bug. Now, if the mum is identified as being a carrier, then plans can be made. Now, this test is done between 35 and 37 weeks of pregnancy, so we're talking five to three weeks before delivery. Uh, when the mum comes in and she's going into labour, then antibiotic therapy is started. Simple antibiotics such as penicillin are given to the mum, and the antibiotics, of course, kill off group B strep bug and the baby is not infected. It's as simple as that. Many countries routinely screen pregnant mums for group B strep. America, Canada, many of the European countries, so they're doing it and we're not. Yet, you know, we do test, we do screen pregnant mums for other conditions that are far less common. We routinely screen for spina bifida. We screen for HIV, we screen for syphilis, and we're not screening for Group B strep. Every pregnant mum should know about Group B strep. I believe every pregnant mum should be tested for Group B strep and tested with a test that is highly accurate.